M0 FXB Hamtech, take a look here. There's a big difference. I wonder if you've spotted it yet. Just turn this one back up. And then turn this one up. So, um, the Both sounding good. Have you spotted it yet? I will uh, show HF, you. UHF if you look, the, um, these are identical uh, radios, uh, but they have different firmware. I'm going to provide you the link and show you how to load this. See that tiny little white thing there? Looks like the type, type of signal you'd get on your phone at home. No, your mobile phone. That is the signal meter. This, with the firmware upgrade by marker so it is bespoke firmware look you've got full strength signal meter now this isn't just to look good it actually measures the signal so if i take off the antenna look i mean this node is right inside my shack now i had it outside just now on air band uh, if i just go to b turn down this one and I went outside on airband and it was picking up airband via the signal meter. So I'm going to show you how to load this, but I say thank you, Marcus. You need to look up, uh, not Marcus, please uh, look up TID Radio Hacking on Facebook and you'll be able to download the bin file there. Plus, I'll put links in the description. Watch the rest of the video of how to load this up. So you're going to need to download the firmware loading program because you can't use the one that Nick Shaw or Marcus has made for TID Station. So you want the original one to so go to TID Radio here, I'll provide the link and I've got the HAM model. And when you download that software, if I just click here at my downloads, you'll see that you've got, there's your download. And one of them within this file called TDH3 HAM is firmware uh, so you want the tdh3 iap setup double click that and run it okay and just go next next i've already got it of course it's like it, it on your computer you end up with a little yellow radio uh, that you can put i've got it here in my shortcut okay in my shortcut so double click it and it opens this window that you can see just there on the right hand side and then if we look at the Facebook page and what I'll do I put the I'll put the file that I've used on my Facebook page M0FXB in the file section as well it's there now but you can bet there'll be more updates for this you're going to need a UV5R cable now please read the notes that Marcus has made regarding the you know flashing the, this firmware because he does say you do not use TID station use use the TID radio firmware and then you lose the I think it says here it was the power meter so read the notes um, but we're just going to dive in and load this in now so turn off your radio connect your cable to the radio and the PC then go to the software on the right hand side and click open file double click the Nickshaw mod ending 606 double click that it puts the file there ready for you now select the COM port of the radio, mine is 5, you can look yours up by just clicking your right click in your Windows squares, go Device Manager, and then you'll see your COM port, go to the where it says Ports, here, just here, you'll see it's COM5 on mine, then go to the top and click set on the the software communication port and click five click OK now click start okay so click start here now don't worry if you get it wrong if you muck this up it doesn't matter you won't brick the radio you just keep redoing it and you can get it wrong a hundred times and you're not going to brick your radio so don't panic so now click start and then as soon as once you've clicked start the radio's off hold your finger on the PTT and just turn it on and even if it fails, don't worry, yeah, just do it again. But you can see at the bottom, it's saying it's very small, downloading, and it's gone into error. Um, but just do it again. And when it ends, you'll see that it's done. it did it that time, just after a couple of tries. Tuning and tuning and tuning and listening, and you have to have quite a keen ear. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, zero, zero.
See if we get any weak stations come in. So check it out. Remember, this is changing daily, maybe even hourly some days. Big thanks to Marcus doing some great work. All these different types, even USB or upper sideband, should I say. Link in the description. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.